Well, hello everyone, welcome. I am so excited to be sharing with you my summer home decor. Summer is such a beautiful time of year when the flowers are in full bloom, the birds and animals are up making their noises bright and early in the morning, and it's just daylight so long. It's just such a wonderful time. And so I wanted to share with you what I've done to decorate my home in a simple, rustic farmhouse manner in our living spaces. So here in the porch, I have kept it very simple and rather similar to what I've done in the past with my basket hanging on our coat rack that my husband made and a galvanized pail that I found in an antique store for $15. It is a watering can and I just found some wildflowers that I put in there. Um, very white neutral color. I have kind of a neutral color scheme going on. So my watering can just adds a touch of summer and I love using the galvanized as you can see throughout some of my decor. And then in our living room area, I did rearrange our furniture. I have not done this for so long. It was definitely time. We shiplapped our wall a couple months ago and I found this big clock on Facebook Marketplace. So it was centered and our TV just wasn't centered under the clock. So I thought it was time to move that. And I love the coziness of how it looks. Um, it's growing on me. It looks a little bit more crowded than I like, but I just think it adds so much warmth and um, inviting atmosphere to the space. And of course, you have to have just a white afghan or throw blanket on the couch. Our pillows are what they were for spring. I don't really change those out except fall, winter, and summer, spring. So those are the similar, and stripes are very summer for me. I just love stripes for um, the summer, and even in clothes, there's stripes a lot in for the summer. So I just left that very simple in our little side round table. I found that on Facebook Marketplace as well. We've had it for a while. I just put a couple vintage books and this um, knotted ball that I've had and just, I really shopped my house a lot too and rearranged where I put things this year. And then my plant, of course, have to have that in the window. And then the area that I love to decorate are my little built-in shelves here. It is actually um, where my mirror on the other side in our hallway is. It used to be a doorway from the previous owners and I think they put that built in there. But I love how it looks this summer. I'm using a lot of my thrifted stoneware, my vintage antique books that I've had, and just some woods colors, again, faux um, greenery and always decorating with um, live flowers when possible too in my picture. And I just love how that looks. So bright and inviting and summery, really. That's the word I'm gonna use is summery. So I just love, love, love how that looks this summer. And then over in my, I'm gonna call it my piano room. It's really a dining room, but that's where our piano sits and our music stuff is over there. And um, I have a little desk without a chair still. I'm still looking for a good chair. But that little desk, I wasn't sure how I really wanted to decorate it. So I played around with some texture a little bit and I ended up on this stack of books and this crock with, I have some essential oils in it. And then on the other side, a new picture I found at a antique shop for $6 in my last antique haul that I just put up. And again, those same flowers. So those are all throughout my house, you'll see. But the picture just is so cute. And I wanted to be able to see it when I'm working at my desk on my computer there, or my laptop. And I think it's just really adorable with having the crock and then the picture and the books and being cohesive with bringing in all the books really makes the house come together, I think. And over in my little corner, I struggled a little bit with how I wanted to decorate my hanging metal shelves. 
I went more with a garden theme this time and used some terracotta planters that I had gotten at a garage sale. Just kind of rearranged that and um, I'm not sure I'm loving it, but I think it's going to have to do because it is very summery. It really is with the terracotta planters. And then my new picnic basket along the side of my antique stand there that I have is just really cute adorable picnic baskets are definitely a summer thing so i am so excited to be using that in my decor and honestly for storage so my little girl doesn't get into some of the things i had in an open basket so that picnic basket works wonderfully and then this um bless this house sign i made oh probably a year ago or two um at a project thing i did so i just used that pulled that back out from my storage and I just think it's really beautiful and really nice over in that corner. And if I don't like it yet, it'll grow on me, right? Um, the piano is super simple right now, how I decorated the top, just with some more pictures, some ironstone, um, some of my music things, like my willow tree flute. I keep that out, I guess, just because I played flute for so many years. And then the gather sign my brother and sister-in-law made for Christmas for me, actually. So if you haven't seen that, it's, so homemade, so and unique. I just love it there. Um, so really that's it for the open spaces, living spaces I have. In the kitchen I just did a tablescape is all and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do but I've had this cutting board that I haven't cleaned up yet so I thought that would be really cute as a centerpiece with my cloche over some faux succulents along with my real succulents in the terracotta planter and I just think it's very simple very green, lively, summery, and I have a thrifted placemat underneath with the blue and white. Blue and white is very summer to me. My outdoor decor has a lot of blue and white on my summer patio, so check out that video if you haven't seen that one. But I just think it's a very simple tablescape with, or centerpiece I should say, really, and I am enjoying having that on my table and seeing that. And other than that, I really haven't decorated much else. I do like to keep it very simple in the summer. Like I said, I'm outside so much. I just don't spend a lot of time um, working inside on the decorating. So this is what I have done for the summer, my rustic farmhouse style. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find inspiration in watching my video and that you are having a wonderful summer as well. Give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel i would really love to have you join i do videos such as these thrifted and simple living homemaking and motherhood so don't forget to hit that red subscribe button then well i love you guys and i'll be talking with you in my next video bye